Okay, we are gonna talk about carbohydrates and how many carbs to eat. I get this question a lot when we're looking at um, making sure you're getting enough nutrition for your body, for what you're doing, your energy, your stress, all of those things. A couple of important pieces to keep in mind. I, I really do recommend eating carbs for the female body. I do not recommend not eating carbohydrates. Your brain and everything functions off of carbohydrates, so it is essential that you're fueling your system with what it needs. <laughs> Also super fun to note that if you cut carbohydrates, it can impact your body's ability to naturally digest carbohydrates, the enzymes and bacterial balance, all those fun things. So it can cause some ne negative um, interactions within your system that you then have to really work hard to undo that process. So carbs are important. We're gonna talk kind of just generally about how many carbs are helpful for you. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution. These are on Amazon where you can pick them up and read all about how to eat for your hormones in your cycle. I do talk about carb cycling in there as well. So there is that. And then I also am host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, you can subscribe to that as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel here. Stay updated on all the information I have for you coming out. So carbohydrates. First thing that I want to talk about here is in general, if we're not doing a carb cycle, I want to make sure it is equal to your grams of protein that you're eating. That's kind of a general, right? So if you're getting at least 100 grams of protein a day, you should be getting at least 100 grams of carb a day. If you are a lot more active, then you can increase that carb amount a little bit, bump that up, fantastic. But again, if you are getting enough protein, it can really cut the cravings that you will have for carbohydrate. Carbs overall, you're gonna to wanna to make it equal. Um, I'm gonna put simple, I'll draw it like this. Simple is going to be equivalent to complex carbs. So say you're having fruit and then quinoa or something like that, right? However many grams of fruit is you want to about equal the quinoa. You just don't want to overload with one or the other. What I hear all the time is that gals are like, oh my gosh, I'm terrified to eat fruit. I can't eat fruit. That's going to make me fat. What? No, <laughs> that's not how that works. And again, if you cut a specific type of carb, it can really negatively impact how your body responds to things. So say you have some an apple and a berries just during the day, right? So you have a um, Greek yogurt with berries and granola with your breakfast. Cool, now there's a little bit of complex carb in that granola I just realized as I said that, awesome. And then later with your lunch, you're gonna have an apple, okay? And then you're gonna have some quinoa with dinner. Beautiful, beautiful. You are hitting all those things. But say the simple is 50 grams of, of simple carbs. You can do 50 grams of complex carb then. Throughout the day, that's 100 grams total, and you're getting both. Having that equal balance overall. So you want to make sure, again, you're getting enough. And a, a great way to start is just matching how many grams of protein you're getting throughout the day, and then balancing the simple to complex. That's fantastic, right? A fantastic way to start. If you are someone who is really struggling with cravings, especially at night and really wanting sweets overall, you really wanna make sure you're targeting certain fats, things like that. But this is a very easy thing to get started with. Um, again, in the Female Hormone Solution Program, where we work together, I take you through carb cycling. It helps teach your body how to burn carbs better. We also talk about how estrogen can help your body burn, or estrogen is designed to burn carbs in your body. So utilizing that with the estrogen cycle is fantastic. If you are post-menopause, your body also will change how you process it, carbs. So we talk about the right amount of carbs for you there too, because it's different for every person. And it's different for your activity level. Again, if you are exercising more, you're probably gonna need more carb. If you are under more stress, it's okay to bump your carb a little bit. That's normal to have your body need that shift and change. Eating for your hormones in your cycle is not eating the same all the time because what your body needs on a day-to-day -day basis or a week-to-week -week basis can shift a little bit. We acknowledge that, we honor that, and we work with that. 
So go below this video, click that link. You can get on the wait list for the next program that I am running. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out to me privately, or you can comment on this video. I do respond to comments when I can. I think it's important that any questions you have are answered so you know that what you're moving forward with is gonna be the thing that helps you function better and feel better and get and keep the right results for you. So thanks for tuning in. I so appreciate you guys and I will see you later.